Hello dear friends, today again we are going to read from Frank Griffel's book on uh, Ghazali. So the first position, Al-Makama al awwal in uh, The Incoherence of Philosophers, cites the claims that observation does not establish causal connections. In a given example in which fire comes into contact with a cotton ball, this is often cited by contemporary philosophers like Graham Harman in the context of object-oriented ontology. The efficient cause of the cotton's combustion is the fire alone. The fire is the agent or the efficient cause, fa'il, igniting the cotton in accord with its nature, fa'il bittaba, and it has no choice over its actions. According to this position, fire is the only efficient cause of the ignition. It is the only sufficient cause that by itself makes ignition necessary. This is not the position of Avicenna. He taught that in any given chain of efficient causes, only the first element is the cause in the real sense of that word. Uh, that first element is the absolute cause, illa mutlaqa, of all that follows after it. Thus, with regard to efficient causality, there is only one absolute cause, and that is God. For Avicenna, who believed in secondary causality, the fire would only be a middle element in a causal chain. The fire would be both a cause and an effect, and it could not be called the only efficient cause of the ignition. At other places in his writing, Al-Ghazali ascribed the first position somehow vaguely to a group of people he calls the Eternalists, uh, Lahiriyun, for their belief in the eternal world without a cause or a maker. These people, he adds, are clandestine apostates, Zanadika, meaning they could not be counted among the various groups of Muslims. Later in this book, uh, Al-Ghazali adds to this extreme position that this position is closely akin to the one held by Mutazelites with regard to the generation tawallud of human actions and their effects. From his later comment in the revival, we know that Al-Ghazali condemned as unbelief kufr the view that stars would be by themselves efficient causes that are not governed by higher ones. The first position in this discussion presents this view. It is not surprising that Al-Ghazali responds vigorously in response to this theory. This position must be denied. Rather, the efficient cause for the burning of the cotton and it being reduced to ashes is God. Again, these words seem to suggest that Al-Ghazali refers exclusively to occasionalism as the only acceptable alternative explanation. And Avicennan, however, could easily agree with the statement that God is the ultimate or absolute efficient cause of the cotton's combustion. This alternate explanation is taken into account in the statement in which Al-Ghazali rejects the initial position. So, Ghazali in fact rejects both uh, reason and revelation. He uh, adopts a kind of mystical position. This position is one of those that we deny. Rather, we say that the efficient cause file of the combustion through the creation of blackness in the cotton and through causing the separation of its parts and turning it into cotton or ashes is God, either uh, through the mediation of the angels or without mediation. The angels here are the celestial intellects. The correct position is either an occasionalist explanation or Avicenna's view of creation by means of secondary causality. In both theories, not the fire, but God is the absolute efficient cause of the burning. Thank you so much for joining.